Have you ever went to a store and you saw an item on sale, but it was still extremely high? It makes you wonder, what was the original price? And there's a possibility you could go down the street, find another store, and find the same item, regular price, and cheaper than it was at the other store on sale. Today we're going to find the original price for a sales item and see if you're about to get a deal or if you're about to get bamboozled. So the problem, problem is, Peter wants to buy a gold necklace. The sales price is $66. What is the original price? We have a coupon for 25% off. Now we know two things. The sales price and the percent paid. The sales price is $66. The percent paid is 100 minus is 25%. That's 75. And we're going to write a variable for original price, P. $66 is 79% of the original price. I mean 75. So the first thing we're going to do is times 75 by P equals 66 the sales price. Now, the first thing we're going to do is move the decimal over two spots. So that'll be right here. 0 0.75 times P equals 66. Now what we're going to do is inverse operations. I did a video on it and solved it for X. You might want to go check that out. Now, the inverse operation of times of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide everything by 75, 0.75. Okay, so we're going to automatically cancel this out because that would just be 1. And 1 times P would just still be P. Now, you might want to use a calculator for this problem. So. 66 divided by 7.75, make sure you put the point, equals 88. So the answer is, the original price is $88. And that's how you find a better deal. So the X is $44.80. 
Which is the better deal? $44.90 or $39? I would say take the $25 off coupon.